All right, so once you have done your sketch in your sketchbook, you're ready to transfer to your larger piece of paper. So first you wanna determine if you have a vertical or a horizontal animal picture. I have a vertical one, meaning it's up and down, not like a landscape. So what I want to do first is begin to, and I'm gonna try my best because I'm holding the camera and drawing at the same time. I'm gonna start with those basic shapes. I'm gonna sketch super light and draw all those basic shapes that I saw when I first started this. So I'm drawing my ovals, I'm drawing my triangles. I'm just really loose. I'm not drawing really hard, thick, hard to erase lines. I'm just drawing all those circles where I think they are on the page. So you can see all my shapes on the page. Next, you begin to use those same reference lines to map out where everything is. So I'm gonna start with the edge of the beak. So I'm gonna draw now this square is smaller than this square of paper. So I need to estimate how big that would be in comparison to this. So here, it's not like I'm literally taking this much paper and only drawing a line there, that's way too small. I need to think about what ratio of paper is it. So if I look at all of this paper up to that line, that's like 98% of the page. So I'm gonna try and estimate 98% of the page and I think my line's gonna be right about here. So I'm lightly drawing my line there. And then you can see in comparison, that thickness of line is similar to that thickness of line, just at a different scale, a different size. So I have this reference line. So my beak is coming out to here. I'm looking at this reference line of the edge, bottom edge of my beak. I'm trying to estimate that's almost 50% of the page, so it's more like 45. So I'm going to find 50% of my paper and go up just a smidge. And that's where that end of the beak is going to be. So I can begin to round out that shape more. I'm gonna look at where the top of my head is. Again, it's like there's 98% of this and 2% of that. So I'm only gonna draw a line at about 2% right about there. So I know my head's reaching right about up here. I'm gonna look at this shape. Do you see this little triangle of negative space? that's being created by the lines in the parrot head. I'm gonna try and create a similar shape with this triangle. So I'm looking there and trying to create a similar negative shape with those reference lines. So I'm sketching, I'm still sketching. I'm checking out where my shoulder meets. I'm estimating probably right about there. And then I'm looking at this reference line. It's probably, that's about a third of each page or of the page. So I'm gonna look for about halfway, half of half is right about here. So the next is gonna come to about here. I'm looking at where it is over here, another third of the page. And then I'm looking at that negative space again, this little triangle that's being created by my reference line and the edge of the feather and trying to create that same kind of shape. 
Um, I'm going to look at how wide this wing is. I'm going to go to the widest point, draw a line down. I'm going to look at that distance. I'm going to recreate that kind of distance on this paper. So my wing is coming out to about there. And I'm just continuing to sketch, checking this reference line. It's going to be right about out here. And I'm just lightly sketching. And then when I become more confident with the shapes, I can sketch a little darker. Again, I'm looking at some of this negative space. I'm looking at how wide the distance is between this bottom beak and this tip of that beak, creating that same distance. And then creating that kind of negative space. So you are using shapes to start to map out where everything is on the page. Then you're using reference lines to begin to find where everything is actually located on the page. And then once you have a general idea of where everything is, sorry the bell, once you have an idea of where everything is, then you can begin to go in and kind of map out the details like where the black of the beak is, where the color on the top of the head is. So now I'm kind of mapping out the color. And again, I'm not going in, I'm not going in and drawing all these little feathers don't draw feathers or scales or anything. You're drawing shapes of the body and shapes of different sections of color. And then once we do our oil pastel, then you can begin to add the texture of the scales and the feathers and everything. Okay, so you are going to do your little practice sketch. You're looking for shapes and reference lines, looking at the distance between the edges of the paper and where those body parts line up, and then transferring it to your final paper. All right, let me know if you have questions.